And welcome back, folks, to part three of Fellow Braver's Game Showcase. Last episode, we were continuing rebuilding the village, and on the way, we decided to trespass into a woman's house while she was sleeping, invade her dreams, where she proceeded to try and kick us out, but decided after that to bring us back in just to listen to her crazy story. Oh, well, she's probably not crazy, but... <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry about that. She's probably not crazy, but when, why not? So let's give her the benefit of the doubt for this one. I had a very strange dream. It was about my father and someone who looked just like you. My father told me to give him his paintbrushes to you and tell you all I know. The brush is all I have left for my father. I hid it somewhere. When you come back to me with that brush, I will tell you all I know. Right, so now we need to find the paintbrush. Anything else you want to tell us? Of course not. The paintbrush is all you have left and you're not going to tell us anything else about it. Like, clear... like... Any clear indication of where you left it, for example. Apparently that's not important. Uh, wait. Who did the? Oh, wait, the architect? Was that you? Did you do this while I was gone for 10 seconds in that woman's dreams? What do you think of these walls? I am known to be a fast builder. You definitely are a fast builder, sir. That took me no more than two minutes, I think? In that woman's dreams and suddenly, poof, the wall's up. Well, there's only one place we can look for paintbrushes in this day and age. In here. In here? I've been in here. That's the problem when I speak too fast sometimes, for comedic, for comedic effect. Oh yeah, while we're here. Just in case we end up dying. You know, as soon as we as soon as we're on the deathbed, we're just gonna use a medical herb and cheat death out of his out of a soul. Now you may notice this. That this is now opened up. That's because of the most obvious thing over here. We've opened up the way in the reality, which was from the dream world. And and now we got Leo's brush. Apparently Lisa came in here at some point and hid the, these brushes. And now... And now you are the only monsters left in this world, and you shall die. But he released an old man. Now which old man is this one? Well, it's probably old man 25 or something like that. And I think now, effectively, we have finished this area, actually. Yeah, I'm shocked as you, bar folks. Perhaps I should have just, you know, continued this. Perhaps I should have continued the video from, you know, continued from where we, until we got to this point, but then again, I didn't know that. It's been a long while since I played this game. I haven't played it since I was like, oh god, I've only, re I've only replayed it to, I re replayed it only twice in my life, once when I was like, uh, was it 9 or was I 10 then? Well, actually, I forgot, we released this old geezer, who doesn't look like an old geezer at all, since losing my wife to an illness. I noticed a goat hanging around my place. I was so lonely, I decided to keep the goat as a pet. There is no goat right now, but I'm sure we'll re release that later. So, I'm a bit weirded out that you have a goat and you said you were lonely. Oh, you found my father's paintbrush. I will now tell you what I know. It's not like I could have kept this on me at all times just because it was the only thing I had left of him. And was very sentimental. Oh well, I'll tell you what I know. 
One day as I returned from shopping, I found a note. Lisa pulled Lisa pulled out the note and began to read. Lisa, I won't be able to see you for a while. If you have any problems, please see the village chief. Take care of your friends. Turbo the dog, Louis the dolphin, Nomi the, do the snail, and Marie the doll. That's a very interesting set of friends you have there, there Lisa. Because none of them are human. <laughs> animals mentioned in the letter were once my father's pets. I don't understand what he is trying to say, though. I know you're a complete stranger, but will you please search for my father? You just took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> well, I can't say yes or no to it, so I'm guessing we have... I guess... By Nintendo logic, we have to search for her father. <laughs> This is the weird thing. I have no idea where to go next. Well, at this point, no one would have any idea where to go next. But, lucky for me, I know this game quite well. The paintbrush used to paint the picture, the world of evil. Now, this will make sense when I look at this picture. Betty is dragged into the painting. Because we had the paintbrush on us, we could now, oh god, we could now come into this painting. We have to kill these things because, because otherwise, a tulip with nothing to climb up to as I was saying though because we had the paintbrush on us we were able to enter this place oh goodness oh these more powerful turrets oh dear These are one of the guys we cannot kill because. Oh wait, I can't. We can kill them. I know there's definitely a place and the... there's a monster in this place that you cannot kill because. Well, I'll explain. Them. Well, that will make sense later. Oh, great. I've only got two bars of health left. Well. Pixels. Slashy slashy. Spinny spearman. Seriously, that's how he attacks people. By spinning and throwing a javelin or a spear or something. But he released a lonely goat. Yep, that's one lonely goat. That's... Part of being obvious. I'm not ruining this pixel perfect. Uh... Right, we get another way through. An ivy? Now we can go down there to nothing. chest here. Another medical herb, and we got full health back after... Those things have eyes. Stay away.
I spin! I don't want to get hit by this. Oh god. I hate you, Spearman. Right. Okay. We can we open the way, but if you think we can take out this monster, we can't. Hear that? It's it's made of metal, so we cannot cut through that. Hunk of gem we just got. And now but we released another goat. There's more goats in this town than humans so far, I I'm guessing. I'm probably wrong though in that respect. Let's check a look around here. Great, nothing. Stand here. Once you learn how the enemies react pixel wise, then they're really a pushover. Unless you're careless like me at times in this game. Another tulip. Seriously, lots of plant life in this place. Oh, I don't want to get hit by you. I dislike those blocks whenever they surround you. A boy in a lonely hut. Again, I'm not saying anything. Just except that's kind of odd that he doesn't have any friends with him. Oh yeah, we cannot do anything with that. Now we go on ahead. there soon, but right now... This might seem suicidal, partially, but there was a there was a good reason that I got more careless than usual. And another boy. Do not want to do that just yet. For now, we will head back to the village. And if you notice, coming back to the base, we actually get full health back. And we opened up a shortcut to the world of evil, which will be more useful when we actually want to go there. Let's see what you have to say for yourself, goat. 
I don't know if there is such thing as a reincarnation, even though I can't communicate with my husband. I enjoy his company. Oh, so that's why. Well, it makes sense, but at the same time, it's a bit unusual for the... <sighs> Forget what I was about to say. I was about stupid what I was going to say. Why are you out here so lonely? You are the one who set me free, right? Come, I shall show you around. Please follow me. Do we have to? Oh. Oh. This is the home of Dr. Leo, the inventor and his daughter, Lisa. Dr. Leo is a great painter as well as an inventor. One day, many soldiers came and took Dr. Leo away. Lisa has not been the same since. Oh, great. A tour from a goat. Words fail me, folks. I have no idea what to say about this. The house at the top of this cliff contains a painting by Dr. Leo. I think the title of the painting is something like The World of Evil. You're telling us stuff that we already know. This is the house a house people constructed for the goats. I'm not terribly fond of it. I did see something on the ground near the corner of the fence. Really? Which one? Which one? What is it? It better be something nice. A medical herb? You goat were useless. I already had a medical herb on me. Oh well. Huh. Be sure to check underneath all the tulips. A boy may have hidden something under one. He thought that no one was watching, but I saw him. Really? Well, then we'll have to keep that in mind when we... This tulip is asleep. Can we use the dream rod on it? as humans, I shall not judge him again for this. In my dreams, I can do anything I like. For example... Ha! Why don't you try and talk to the jewelry? Uh, you'll find that's a jewel, not a jewelry. Oh well. The monsters running all over in Dr. Leo's paintings cannot be defeated unless you have a special sword. Yeah, this is why, folks. You must find the special sword that can destroy metal. Return here once you have found the sword. Would you like to return to Grass Valley? Oh no, I want to stay in this place that I'm trapped forever. Of course I want to go back. And let's keep going. Actually, can I get up to this guy? No, I cannot. Strange, I thought I could get up to that guy earlier. And plus, I thought there was supposed to be someone else here. I think my memory's starting to fail me, folks. But, could my memory serve me correctly for once? Ah, there was a pass underneath this tulip. Oh, that's my pass. Well, okay, I'll give it to you. Thanks, kid. I stole it from you. Isn't that great? Actually, this is our secret passage. I cannot let you through without a pass. Pass, eh? A pass made by the children of Grass Valley. Oh, the pass. Where'd you find it? You can go inside now. Thanks, kid. I'm tired of playing hide and seek. I must find something else to do. So what do we get for doing this? Better be something awesome, kid. A bottle? What, what, what is this bottle? You will not lose any gems should your life meter reach. 
reach what? Probably reaches zero, but it just decided we just end up missing that out because there's no full stop there. Oh well. Let's keep let's just leave. It's not useful because unless you're good at this unless you're really bad at this game, you're not gonna lose gems that much. Right, sadly I think we've done all that we can in this village right now. So it's time that we head to the boss of this dungeon of the world of evil. But that'll be for another day. So, what kind of monstrosity shall we find in Leo's paintings of the world of evil? Well, it depends on how creepy this guy's imagination is. But still, we shall find out next episode. See you around, folks, and have a good day.